Stop practicing rudiments. Did Steven really just say to stop practicing rudiments? Yes, stop practicing rudiments until you've mastered this technique first. Hey everybody, welcome to the Non Glamorous Drummer. This is the channel that's all about providing you with the non glamorous tips and topics of the trade to help teach you the drumming skills that really matter to help you become a better drummer. If you're new to the channel, I really hope you'll subscribe. Too many drummers are focusing solely on rudiments. Now, I think that might be because there's always been a lot of hype over rudiments, and you know, if you learn your rudiments, then uh, I guess the idea is that that's going to lead to fast hand speed and then you learn to apply the rudiments to the kit and you play all this lightning fast stuff around the kit and there are thousands and thousands of videos on YouTube all about that and a lot of teachers really start students off with a lot of rudiments. So I'm kind of going against that today but I'm not really going to go the direction that you might think I'm going to go. I've also heard a lot of drum set players say things like stop practicing your rudiments and start playing the drums and so that's kind of a, another philosophy but that's not the direction we're going today. I wanna talk about some core techniques that need to happen in order to actually play your rudiments well. And if you aren't doing these things, then it's very possible you could work on your rudiments for hours and hours and months and still not be able to play them well. The thing is with drumming, there are certain fundamental core techniques that have to be in place in order to progress to other more challenging or more intricate drumming skills. If you don't have these techniques together, then you're not really playing with a full deck, as the saying goes. So what technique am I talking about? What is all this suspense that I'm trying to build up to? I'm literally just talking about smooth single strokes with rebound. When you hit a practice pad or you hit a snare or a tom or anything, does the stick bounce up smoothly? And are you able to repeatedly do that action with the stick bouncing smoothly? If it's not totally smooth where the tip of the stick is a smooth blur and it's rebounding naturally, then you're probably having difficulty playing doubles well or playing loudly well from your wrists. And so it's probably very possible that if you're practicing rudiments, you're struggling to get the rudiment cleanliness and smoothness and speed because you're not really gripping the sticks the way you ought to be. You might be doing something that's actually inhibiting their motion. So let's talk a little more about this. First, let me show you some examples. Uh, you'll watch a normal, uh, regular speed shot of me playing some singles and then some doubles, and then we'll watch it in slow-mo too because what we want to zero in on is what do our hands need to be doing to allow for the smooth, natural motion of the sticks that will allow us to play whatever we want to play well. So practice that right there and don't work on any other rudiments until you've got that down. Now, yes, singles and doubles are rudiments and so those are some basic rudiments that we can use to practice this technique, especially singles. So really that's the only rudiment that I would say to practice first because you can use that simple rudiment to really work on this technique before you move on to anything else. The motion there involved with the singles needs to be totally smooth in order to be able to play doubles because in order to play doubles you've gotta have that rebound so then you can work on your finger control to stop the rebound and to control it and you've gotta have the doubles down well in order to do the paradiddles because the paradiddles are a combination of singles and doubles. And you've gotta have the basic paradiddle down in order to do all the other kinds of paradiddles and the double paradiddle and the paradiddle diddle. And then if you can do that and you can do your doubles well, then you can move on the flams and all those other rudiments. But if you're moving all, all onto that way too quickly without mastering those basic fundamental techniques, you're gonna be frustrated. So that's why I wanna make the big point today of Focus on the really mundane, really non-glamorous, basic hand techniques there, making sure your sticks are rebounding the way they're supposed to. 
I really believe this will save you a lot of frustration. Honestly, once you have that hand technique down, once the sticks are rebounding like they're supposed to, they're moving loosely in your hands, you're playing from your wrists, the rudiments are gonna naturally come into place. You're, you're not gonna have trouble with the singles and then the doubles are just gonna be a matter of learning the finger control. And so things will naturally fall into place and you'll be able to progress much more quickly because there's nothing that's holding you back and keeping you from moving forward. Big point today, get your technique happening with singles and then doubles before moving on to any other rudiments. Today has been just another one of those really non-glamorous drum videos that is extremely applicable though and very practical. But I guarantee you that by circling back to these basics, you're gonna save yourself a lot of time and frustration. I found this to always be true in my practicing and growing as a player. So guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking with me through a really non-glamorous video, but I hope you're able to really pick up on the application of this and you can go and work on some of these exact things filming yourself in slow motion if you can just to really work these skills up but let me know how it's going in the comments below let me know if this is something you've been working on and this is something that's in progress with your playing or if now you're like oh i need to start working on this either way i'd like to hear from you guys in the comments hey subscribers thanks so much for being a part of this channel and for commenting and for emailing me and all the good stuff that you guys do thanks for sharing videos and if you're new to the channel i really hope you'll subscribe i hope this video helped you out i hope a lot of these videos all about practical drum skills that you can really apply to your practicing and to your playing i hope that helps you out and that you'd like to join the community and join all of us non-glamorous drummers here. Thanks guys so much for watching. I will see you next week.